What up guys, Big Girl Skater here. This is a how-to video for uh, intercoolers. Uh, there it is, I found it. Okay, intercoolers. This is how, this is what the intercooler is that I made. Like, it ain't the best, but I just want to show you guys so you guys understand. Because I keep put, been putting this video off. See how there's a little canals in there? That's the front of it. So it's like this, okay? I drew you guys a little picture of how you want to put it together. Here's the back piece that would go in the back, which would be this nice smooth piece right in the back. Then you'd have your front ones with the canals. But you want to put that, you want to sandwich this little frame together, like get the front, cut it to what you need, cut out these little side pieces, and it would just be on it like. You just put them, make one right here, make a long one there, long one up there, another one here. Then you get your backing, your back one, this piece right up here. And you just push it on there and glue it all together. It should be a nice solid shape. You might have to fill some stuff in, sand it. <coughs> and then put your tubes on the side. You could use plastic tubes, metal tubes. But I didn't bend these ones because I wasn't messing with them. But this is basically... Uh, what you want it to get it to look like. Try to zoom out. You got the back piece, then you got all the little sides, then you got the front, then you got the tubes. Now, the size of everything doesn't matter. It's what you want to make it. Because, like, for instance, on this Evo, this one ain't the same size as that. That's a smaller one. But on the Supra, on my Supra one I just did, it's not as tall in there, so you have to kind of custom make it. But, uh, here's some toys you'll need. You'll need your, all your, you'll need your knives, all different kinds of blades you want to use. So you got your knives. Uh, you could use scissors to cut them out, but whatever, or you could use your knife. You'll need a micro box. I really suggest it's like five to ten bucks at your uh, craft store. I bet. So this is like one of the best tools I bought for scratch building. Here's some crazy glue or a. Uh, Super glue will do. <coughs> some nipper sometimes, and some sanding sticks. Now I'm very fortunate that my aunt's in the uh, uh, podiatrist. I think it's like where they work on feet, so she has all kinds of nail files. So guess who gets to test those out? I do. Uh, I can get. I get like, but those I I got a couple more of them. But I mean like, they're okay. They ain't the best. Then, uh, of course, some putty. I really highly recommend the squadron putty. Uh, and the best thing to go buy, to get all this stuff I did, go to your hobby shop, get evergreen scale models, odds and ends. This is a lot. This is seven bucks at my hobby store. But I mean, like, honestly, guys, this would be the best thing. I wish I would have done this before. This is what you get. Sheets upon sheets upon sheets upon sheets upon thicknesses, like you get really thick ones, and you get down to really thin ones, different colors. These like you get two of these. There's only black ones in there, so you get tubes, long thick, long stick stuff. You get and then you get two big sheets, a nice big white sheet, and then it's ready. It's just plain, and then this one has finer, finer channels, but. I hope this guy's helps. If you have any, uh, <coughs> if you want a how-to of it, or if you want to know how I do something, just message me or comment me. So, hope this guy's help. If you have any questions, you know where to find me. So, peace.